Yo, Jihabi, Mr. Jir right here. Yeah, you can see my face clearly. Wow. So I hate routers. Like most electronical devices, they normally have failed. I hate them. Just when you think it'll be trouble free, bam, problem. So I'm asking all of YouTube for help, and maybe we can find the best option out there. This is for the 64-bit people, not the 32-bit people. Hush. This is for the Linux and Windows people. Mac people, keep it to yourself. I need the best of the best routers. The best wireless in router. Not draft, wireless in. Now what makes the best wireless in router? Good question. Glad you asked. One, I don't want to go behind this once a week resetting it and my modem because all of a sudden for no superlative reason, I have no internet. I don't care how it looks, but it's got to have gigabyte ports in the back. The Wii and the desktop will be hooked up to it always. The laptops will be wireless always. Hopefully. I don't want to hook up the laptop No matter what OS I'm on, the router should always allow my computer or laptop access to the internet. My D-Link was working okay. Again, I say okay for 9.04 to 9.10 of Ubuntu. But as soon as 10.04 was installed, I could wirelessly connect to that router. I'm saying it like it's not right here. As long as WPA, WPA2 was secure. When security was off, it wasn't an issue. I want the best of its kind, within reason. Like, for instance, Linksys has the E2000. I wouldn't get it because the E3000 has network storage via USB. That's something I need in the future, even though I already didn't work very well. I also don't want to spend more than $150 on a router. I mean, really, that's enough as it is. Last but not least, microwaves are bad. I mean, they mess up everything. Bluetooth 2.4, they probably messed up 5.0. I could only wonder if such a router could deal with the microwaves without causing disconnection. If it's possible, now we get that right. So let's all comment on this until I buy one. And maybe this will help others find the perfect router for their needs. I'm not about to spend every week, matter of fact, every month of my life resetting a router for no reason. Let the comments begin. Let the comments commence! And please, let me know how often you reset your router for no reason. Me, the Linksys, which you can't see, I've reset 11 times within a month. The D-Links, even with the Linux problems, I reset only once a month. Only because the other laptop would be unable to connect. So, this laptop didn't have a problem. The other one having a problem with this but if it's having a problem then it's a problem all right so comment subscribe for future videos um stay in touch be nice and be the best rabbit jesus earth say Bye. Till next time.